Okay. So that first module, we took a look at the basics of Angular, tried to define a little bit about where Angular fits. But I noticed that when you showed the little block of Angular 2 code, mm -hmm. that things were a little bit different, that you were using a, a different, I guess, variation, mm -hmm. might be a good way to describe it, of JavaScript called TypeScript. Yeah. So what's TypeScript all about? Yeah, great. So TypeScript is what they call a superset of JavaScript, uh, which what that means is that uh, it's JavaScript with extra features on it. And those extra features are really there to solve problems with JavaScript and problems with just coding large projects. Um, so I'll go through the features real quick and then we'll get more in depth. Um, so TypeScript offers strongly typed, um, which means that it allows you to set variables to certain types. So if you have a variable that you want to make sure that it always stays as a string, in TypeScript it allows you to do that. So as you code, if you were to change that, TypeScript would actually throw an error and say, hey, you define this as a string, and now you're trying to change it to a number, you can't do that, make up your mind, right? Um, the other one is modules and classes, which is kind of like namespaces. It allows you to keep code and all the variables kind of separated. So if you wanted to use the same name variables in different blocks of, or in parts of your code, parts of your application, you can do that with modules and classes. Um, there's also template strings, which is pretty simple. It's just the idea that, you know, in JavaScript, if I wanted to write multiple lines of string, uh, multiple, excuse me, lines of just strings, right? I'd have to concatenate them together. I couldn't really just start a string or I'd have to use some kind of, you know, uh, backslash n to create a new line, those kind of things, right? Um, so in TypeScript, they allow you to pretty much create multi-line strings with starting quotes and closing quotes, at least the, the TypeScript way. It saves a lot of time. Um, and then there's also interfaces and generics, which we won't get to uh, get into so much this uh, on this video. So interfaces and generics, though, are just like we would have in C Sharp. Mm -hmm, so if exactly. you've done C Sharp and you've done interfaces and generics there, then we have that same concept here in, in TypeScript. Exact same, exactly. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, great. So let's look at some examples here. Um, so we have here uh, JavaScript on the left, TypeScript on the right, and um, just in the same line. So what we have here on the left in the very beginning, we have a num is equal to 5, essentially the number 5 until we equal to num. And on the right side, the only thing we added after the variable name is a colon and then the type. That's all we need. Uh, and we're pretty much telling TypeScript that this variable is set to always be a number. And if it does change on you, or if we change it uh, later on the code, it will throw us an error again and tell us, hey, you made this a number, it's going to stay a number. Uh, second one is same thing with a string. Uh, you can define it as a string and then um, set it, the annotation as a string, and then if you change it again, it'll throw an error. Uh, then we have any, and any is kind of like the, the do whatever you want kind of uh, annotation. Okay. And it allows you to set something into a number, and then later on you change your mind, you set it to a string, and then later on you change your mind, you set it into whatever else you want. So it allows you to kind of change the types, which is kind of the opposite of, uh, of strongly type, more or less, right? Um, great, and then the last one is, uh, when I say var list, we have an array here on the left, and then on the right, we're just saying that list is type of array, we write that out, and then in brackets there, um, we type it right in the type of thing that is inside of it. Number being that the array has numbers only, string array strings only, uh, or any, if you're to have any sort of thing inside of it, kind of mix match. And if you're a C Sharp developer, that's basically the same syntax that I would use if I was gonna go list and then specify the data type using that, that generic syntax. Yes, exactly, okay. exactly. Um, and for array specifically, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can write it different ways and still get the same result of defining something to be an array of type number, but uh, this is just one way to do it. Um, lastly, we have there a function, and again, it, it really is very familiar for those who have written C Sharp or anything like that, but um, you define the type of parameters you pass in, and you also define the type of, the type of value you return from that function. So in this case, uh, square, num, we pass in a number, we return the, uh, the result of number times number, and in TypeScript, same thing, but we have to specify. Number, num is going to be a number coming in, and what I'm going to return is number, the type of number. Awesome. So let's show a little bit of the classes. Mm -hmm. And um, again, same thing, JavaScript on the left, TypeScript on the right, and get to reiterate, this is optional. If you are writing in TypeScript, you don't necessarily have to write TypeScript type code. It can just be just plain JavaScript, so that's kind of nice. But in this case, um, for a class or for essentially, um, Everything, there's really no classes in JavaScript, right? It's kind of what they say, syntactical sugar, which is an awesome phrase, I think. But uh, because under the covers is really just prototypes. But anyways, that being said, it does make it a lot easier and kind of a more simple and less code to write these classes. 
as kind of the very generic and simple kind of uh, common use that we've used in most other languages, which is the word class and the class name. And then that constructor there, as you see, is where we pass the parameters when we create a new instance of this class. So if you look at the bottom there, there's no difference. Var a person is equal to new person, which is the class name, um, and then whatever um, string we want to pass into it, in this case, Ada Loveless. So really at the end, TypeScript is just a, a set of, of little add-ons to try and help overcome the pitfall of, uh, of JavaScript. Now, obviously, we didn't spend a lot of time digging into TypeScript. I mean, I think we spent maybe about four minutes or so um, taking a look at it. And most of what we're going to be taking a look at, even if you didn't know TypeScript, you could probably, just based on the context, figure out what's going on. But if you are looking to dig deeper into TypeScript, we do have an edX course that's available that will help show you almost anything that you might want to know about TypeScript. So you can check that out. The link is provided as part of this course. In the meantime, though, let's get in and take a look at uh, a little bit of code in the uh, next video. Sounds good.